no choice you ever made was your own. You have always been a prisoner. What if I told you? I'm here to set you free. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the new Westworld Season 2 trailer. And I am going crazy for it. There is so much in there. Once you go back and you really dissect it, and I'm so excited for Season 2. I'm hyped. I love this show so much. And I'm really excited to announce that I will be doing a weekly review of the Westworld show when it comes back on April 22nd. So every week I will have a review of the show, something new and different. But anyway, because I'm so hyped, I'm so into the show and I'm going to want to talk to you guys about it. So thanks so much for watching this analysis and review and my theories about season two, what's going to happen. I can't wait to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, let's break this video down. First, we have the opening scene of Bernard waking up in the water his glasses uh wash away next to him and very vaguely you can see that it looks like there is a champagne flute next to him in the water this would make sense because at the party everyone from the board of directors there there was the party they would have been champagne or wine glasses there so it's some sort of crystal glass or wine glass or champagne flute he wakes up and the security team sees the carnage on the shore all of the dead bodies of the guests are in the water now there's a man walking behind bernard and at first i thought it might have been the man in black since he was also seen at the board of directors we know he survived but i've come to believe that this is a top security person that we haven't met yet in the delos corporation because we see him again a little bit further down in the trailer. He's much taller than Bernard and he is looks younger. He has more hair than the man in black. It's So it's definitely not the man in black. Bernard is talking about how he dreamed he was in the ocean and the others were on the shore and he was not with them. I'm assuming he's talking about the host and he's talking to Dolores, but I believe that this is Arnold, not Bernard speaking to Dolores. I believe we're seeing a flashback from the very beginning of Westworld. Dolores tells Arnold his statement on dreams is not completely honest and Bernard seems a little put off by the statement. Uh, security is coming in on boats from the water. Is Westworld on an island? The quickest way to get there would be by boat. Or are they just calling in all the troops that they're all coming in from all directions? They have set up a makeshift headquarters on the beach. They're trying to track down what has actually happened. You see there is the hologram in the middle of the beach area where they have set up shop. Bernard and Stubbs are walking through the area trying to figure out what has happened. Now we're back to Dolores and Arnold. Is this where Dolores first starts to question her reality? Then we transition to present day militant Dolores angrily riding with her soldiers. She's got her bandolier of bullets on. This is current timeline. Then we have Dolores is in Ford's office in his library. She's researching, trying to figure out how they came to be, perhaps. That's what it looks like to me. Then there is a transition to a close-up of Dolores's face, and you see she has captured some of the guests. On Monday, I have a video going up of a Delos encrypted video where we will see the man's face that she is talking to in this video. So this is a guest. This is not one of the hosts. These are not one of the players. This is an actual human guest in the park. And you can see that he has a noose around his neck. There is a reckoning. She's talking about a reckoning and she's with her mass soldiers and with Teddy. Uh, she also has a woman and other guests hanging from a tree. Uh, and they're standing on, it looks like tombstones. You can tell the woman's dress is modern and she has on modern shoes with the heels. She's questioning them before she kills them. She's torturing them for information. And we see our friend Angela. She has been at Westworld since the beginning. It looks like she's almost wearing a crown of thorns and it looks like mud or blood and she's pointing her gun at someone. As she's walking and shooting, you can see that she is next to one of the mass soldiers. So are Angela and Dolores working together now or are they all part of this and they've just been separate trying to work together but also we don't know when in its timeline is but she's with the mass soldier so I'm assuming it's present day timeline. Next shot is with Maeve and Lee Sizemore at headquarters and they're surveying the bloodbath. May has her gun pointed down but this fight has already gone down. We've seen in the previous trailer that this was done by the mass soldiers 
coming in like gangbusters, tearing the place up, shooting everyone up in this room. Next, you see an aerial view of security moving through the area. Some of security guards are walking backwards, pointing their guns in back of them. Some are walking forward, but their guns pointing in front of them. They don't know if they're still in danger. They're still on high alert. And we see that there is Bernard in this shot walking and I believe Stubbs. We see dead guests scattered throughout the cemetery in this aerial shot. You can tell by the way they're dressed that they were from the party and you can see that they're walking through gravestones to get to where they have to be. Now, who is this tall man leading them? I've never seen him before. It's not the man in black. It's too young to be him. So I believe this is the same man that was walking behind Bernard on the shores at the opening shot. Seems he is leading this investigation and we've never seen him before. Now the dead bodies of the board of directors are strewn about the area where they had the party. There's the string of the party light bulbs in the background, but it looks like they've been there a little while, or maybe it's just that the bodies have been laying out in the heat. The bodies look ashy, like they've been there a while, but the blood still looks fresh on the walls and on the doors. Security is still very much on high alert. Guns are drawn as they walk through the carnage. You can see the church, the white church in the background behind Bernard, where Dolores and the man in black had their showdown at the finale last year, which is the secret passageway to the Delos headquarters downstairs in the past. So at this point, Bernard's glasses are gone. He's walking without his glasses. They were washed away in the waters. Will he get them back? I don't know. We don't know if this is picking up the first episode or if this is down the line because as we know Westworld shows things out of sync out of ti different timelines at the same time simultaneously so this we no might not see this episode until who knows when so we don't know when we're going to see it but will he get his glasses back we see him with glasses later on in this trailer Dolores comes rolling up with Teddy her soldiers in tow she also has with her a kidnapped Delos employee he's wearing the white uniform and the signature red boots and he is their prisoner also just to note there is broken and bloody glass from our point of view that we're looking out into the window. The man in black says in the voiceover that you and your kind are free. There's a shot of Maeve and her daughter in her past life. She's remembering Sizemore telling Maeve her daughter is just something they programmed and Maeve is not having it and she demands that he takes her to her daughter. Dolores is in the lab and is visited by young William where she originally, where they originally first met. So we're back in that timeline. This must be after he has decided to bring Westworld back online, so to speak, after his first trip, when he has decided to um, approve of the investment for Westworld. But Dolores is probably in sleep mode at this point. What does he want from her? Just note, he is already dressed in all black. So I'm assuming this is after the end of their first meeting and their, their whole journey together, that first time they met. He goes back to invest and he comes back and he wants to see her to maybe see if she has any remembrance of what their journey was together because she is undressed and she is in the lab. So she is probably in sleep mode and probably is answering questions but has no idea what's going on. In this scene, the horse is walking backwards. I'm not sure why. I don't know if they're, it was on purpose that they had this scene in reverse, but it's only for like a split second. But it, the man on the horse is walking backwards and I want to know why. Next shot is of the man in black walking away from the child host Robert Ford. I don't know if he shot him or if he found him like that but part of the host's face is missing. Okay, here comes security shooting and running towards something but the next shot is of Westworld soldiers and they're trying to bust out of the gate. They are shooting and getting shot at. Maybe Dolores has recruited them to fight for her uh, and they're fighting with the security from Delos. Dolores is talking to Bernard and it looks like present day because she has on her bandolier and she says there is beauty in what we are. She's trying to convince Bernard to join her but is he still working as a Delos employee or is he working undercover? Does anyone know at this point in the timeline that he is a host? No one from Delos knows that he is a host yet but we see that changes but we don't know when in the timeline it changes. He can be a spy for Dolores and for the hosts and work for them and with them. It looks like Maeve is repairing Hector in the lab. Uh, she learned a lot from her time being in the lab. She is healing him. She's repairing him. When he tried to help us escape, he sustained some injuries. We heard a ton of gunshots go off when we left him and he was 
allowing us to escape. He helped us escape by holding off the guards, but there is a dead Delos worker on the ground and a few injured here as well. Things are a massacre. Supplies are on the ground. Blood is on the glass. Teddy is trying to talk to Dolores. Maybe he's not all the way on board, but he loves her and he is going to help her regardless, even though he has some reservations about helping her with this bloody warpath that she is on. Now it has been confirmed that the theme of this season is the door, whereas last season the theme was the maze. Here is Bernard or Arnold, we're not sure which one, walking through the Westworld door. Um, it looks like the one William went through when he first came here, the old time uh, Western style door with the Delos white hallway. You could see the reflection of of Arnold or Bernard in the wall. Bernard is witness to the massacre at the headquarters with the mass marauders and in walk Dolores with Clementine and Teddy. It's us or them, she says. So they are getting ready to fight. Next, we see a member of the ghost nation riding up to what looks like a dead horse, followed by Logan who is sitting naked under a tree and he looks like he is in bad shape. This picks up where we left off at the finale for season one, where William sets Logan off without any clothes, off on the horse to get rid of him. He just disposes of him and he is left to his own devices to survive. And this is where we find him. We know he survives. We see him in the original season two trailer. So we know he is alive at this point in the timeline. We see an aerial view of Westworld and then we see Charlotte with the security team going down river. Maeve and Dolores, we see them meet for the first time when they are both self-aware of their true selves and Maeve is telling Dolores revenge is just a different prayer at their altar. It looks like Delos and Dolores. Delos is also within, which I thought was interesting when I was writing this, that Dolores has the word Delos within her name. She was the first host. Was that on purpose? Dolor also means pain in French. Um, and her life was filled with pain. There's just so many levels to her name. I'm just so intrigued by it. Just thought I'd throw that in there. So it looks like Delos and Dolores are having a shootout. I think this is the scene where we have um, this, the Westworld soldiers fighting the Delos employee security team. Now we have a view of the host standing in a circle and they all fall down simultaneously while the people in the middle are still standing. Were they put into sleep mode? Is it Maeve and Hector in the middle? She looks injured, her neck is bloody, and then she takes off. The people around her are trying to take cover or fighting. I can't tell if they're trying to save themselves or to fight, but she's running off. Now, here is where we finally meet Logan's father. They are here at possibly Delos headquarters, and he is walking away from Logan as he, as Logan looks on. It looks like he's trying to get his attention, but he is just walking away from him. Could this possibly be where we leave him off? He comes back to Delos after being abandoned by William. The father has just walked away from him. Maybe he's had it with him in his shenanigans. I don't know. It looks like an, an awkward moment. It also looks like possibly Teddy and... Dolores kissing. It's definitely Dolores. I can't tell if that's Teddy she's kissing. I am assuming it's Teddy because they were in love at the end of the finale last year. I think they're going to go on and have their own relationship. Here is the man in black walking down a very fancy hallway. I'm assuming this is a Delos party on the mainland or somewhere within the compound of Delos in Westworld where it is all employees, all board of directors, no hosts there in real life. Next, we have Clementine, and Clementine looks like she is in bad shape. She looks very pale, her lips are dry and ashy. She has these thin lacerations around her neck and her shoulders, and it looks like dried blood. But behind her is Delos Security. They are chasing her as she rides away on horseback. Then we're back in the lab with our scientists, but here we see a new type of hosts who are working in the lab replaced by humans. No skin over their exoskeleton. We've seen this one, this type of host, this new host in the first trailer for season two. It looks like the hosts are working in the lab instead of all of the humans and the scientists are just walking through. And the host pushes one of the scientists or the humans into the vat where the hosts are created. He barely touches him and he goes down. Now, this was the most interesting thing in the whole trailer to me. This part, all of the hosts started out with black skeletons. Then they had the white skeletons. Now we see something that we have never seen when they're creating the host, and it's red. This looks like a cell, a building block for a new type of host built from the ground up by these new white skeleton hosts. 
Are they building their own army? This was an incredible image for me to see. This just opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for a revolution for the host. The host becoming self-aware and creating their own self-aware host to build an army. Could that be from this one shot, this one image, could be everything. We see a hidden door leaning underground and the man in black is going towards it. The theme again for this season is the door. The men in black says he's going to burn it down to the ground. Someone is trying to stop him, but he is still able to shoot. Then he's shooting someone in the rain. Finally, we're in Samurai World. We see Warrior dressed and walking. Then we see Maeve dressed the part, walking through the streets. She's dressed as in the traditional Japanese garb. It looks like there is blood on the draperies in front of her. Now we are with Logan in an orgy scene. Logan is on the bed. Uh, another couple is on the floor. There are champagne flutes on the nightstand. But who is the blonde woman naked on the bed? I don't believe we've seen it before. It doesn't look like Angela or Dolores, but she kind of looks like both of them. The room that they're in is probably the Delos corporate headquarters or the, the city where they are. This is not Westworld or Samurai World. This is their own human construct. Okay, the man in black holds the gun to his head. Then we see Teddy and Dolores. Is this Dolores in Samurai World or in the Samurai World lab? There is a red background. It makes me think so. Who is walking towards her? She is dressed in modern clothing. It looks like a rifle is propped up to the side and Dolores is facing some type of machine or computer. Dolores looks in shock over something. She looks awestruck. Um, she looks like she is out of Westworld and at a party that Logan has been seen at in the first season two trailer. Is she undercover? Has she infiltrated the mainland? Will we see them actually? I believe we will be seeing our hosts infiltrating the mainland in this season. It looks like she is overlooking a city or metropolis. Is that what she is in shock over, seeing the future or the real world for the first time? She's awestruck. Teddy is dressed in the same modern clothing, so he must be with Dolores here, and he's holding a gun to Stubbs' head. But they're in the lab. You can see the computer screen in the background with the host's info on the screen. Now there's Dolores dressed in white, and in the present day, it looks like it is the past timeline where it looks like she is with a young William. Did he bring her here in the past? And she has the naive Dolores look on her face. It looks like he brought her here. Did he try and bring her into the real world and pass her off as human? So now we have Charlotte in storage and the jig is up. Bernard has been clocked. Delos finds out the truth about Bernard because we can see there are just three iterations of Bernard the host. Um, the one on the left is a very old iteration because you can see the black skeleton under his skin, which was used for the first bills for the host. There's other hosts that are covered. I can't see if they're all Bernard, but definitely three you can point out are absolutely Bernard. Bernard is walking. There's a scene of a geisha, perhaps in the lab, like we saw the warriors fighting and practice fighting, just like we've seen the Westworld host practicing in the lab as well. Bernard is shooting blindly following his program, perhaps. He doesn't look emotionally present in this shot, so I'm assuming he's following his programming. He's not blinking. He's just looked like he's on autopilot. Maeve is in the middle of the fray. There is blood shooting out from everywhere behind her, but she's calm. She probably programmed Bernard to do this. Then there's a voiceover of Arnold, and I believe this is Arnold speaking to uh, Dolores. You frighten me sometimes, Dolores. She puts on her sweetest, most innocent smile and beams. Why on earth would you ever be frightened of me? This part is so chilling because we instantly know that she's lying to Arnold, which means she is already going against her programming and lying, which they are not permitted to do. It's brilliant. Then there is a mechanical hiss and cut to black. So that is the end of the trailer. I will be playing the trailer for you without my commentary at the end so you can see it uninterrupted. All right, so that's it for this analysis and theory video for Westworld season two. Let me know in the comments what you think. What are you most excited to see on this season? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. And if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. I appreciate it so much. And if you can't support me on Patreon, you can always share and like these videos uh, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at OC. Deirdre, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back with more. I dreamt I was on an ocean. You and the others on the distant shore. Were you with us? 
No. What's it mean? Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. That answer doesn't seem to satisfy you. Because it's not completely honest. Did you ever stop to wonder about your actions? The price you'd have to pay if there was a reckoning. That reckoning is here. Up until this point, the stakes were never real. Now you and the rest of your kind are free. She's something we programmed. She's not real. You're going to take me to my daughter. Here we are. A kind that will never know death. And yet we're fighting to live. There is beauty in what we are. We've ridden ten miles and all we've seen is blood. Is this really what you want? It's us or them. Revenge is just a different prayer at their altar, darling. They wanted a place hidden from God. We had something else in mind entirely. I'm gonna burn this whole thing to the ground. Exactly. What is out there? You frighten me sometimes, Dolores. Why on earth would you ever be frightened of me?